failure is something that no one likes. It's not fun. The feeling of failing is one that does not feel good. Unfortunately, if you think about it, every person that has had a major success has failed repeatedly up until that point. So in some sense, failure is an indispensable part of success. Failure is necessary for success. And that's unfortunate because failing creates negative emotions. But ideally, we can learn from our failures and try not to repeat the same mistakes. In this video, we're going to talk about failure in the context of mathematics. This video is 100% inspired from an email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. This is a fairly recent email, so I'm going to try to post this video as soon as possible. I'm going to read the email carefully, it's very short, and I encourage you, if you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave comments to help this person, it not only helps this person, it helps other people watching the channel because people from all over the world read the comments. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and read the message very carefully. The subject is Calculus 1 Final Exam. The message reads as follows. Hello, professor. I've watched some of your videos. Now I wish I was knowing you before I was having Calculus 1 midterm. I got a very bad grade and I need to get a minimum of 65 on the final to pass the course. I'm bad at math. I don't know if I can get that mark in calculus. The exam will be about integration, antiderivative, and U substitution. Any advice or you can help me, I can do a lot to pass this course. Thank you. So I do have all kinds of advice and I think you're gonna make it especially if you try the things I'm going to suggest in this video, because I think you can do it. I know exactly where you are. I've had students in your situation. You totally got this. But even before I tell you how to do that, even before I give you some advice, let me just say that I think it's great that your final exam covers antiderivatives and U substitution, okay? And I say this because I've taught calculus one, two, three, I've taught a bunch of courses in college, and I've made exams and I know what you need to know for Calculus 2. And in my view, one of the most important things you can learn in Calc 1 is to become a differentiation and integration monster so that when you get to Calculus 2, which is significantly more challenging, you are better prepared and you can crush it, okay? So I think it's awesome because when you study for your final, not only are you fighting to save your grade, not only are you fighting to survive and hopefully fighting to get a good grade, you are learning mathematics, and you're learning math that's going to help you in the future. All right, so the first thing you should do is make sure you do all the homework, okay? Like, finish all the homework for your class, make sure it's done. And I say this for a couple of reasons. One, you want to get it done so you can go back and look at it again later. Two, the second step is you're going to want to go see your teacher. Now, teachers are people, and they have opinions, right? So some teachers form a negative opinion of a student who doesn't work hard or doesn't do their homework. That is a very common thing for people to do, right? People will look at someone who does not work hard, oh, they don't work hard, they're lazy. People will make those judgments. I personally have never really, you know, I've had students in the past that don't do any homework and they're really smart and hey, I don't judge. They, they're making that choice, right? So. It's your life, but I am advising you, you should do your homework because your teacher might, might, might have judgment if you don't do it. Plus, it'll help you to get it done. So get the homework done, that's number one. Then go see your teacher with your homework done, you've done everything, you, know, you show up, it makes a good impression. You know, you've, you've finished your homework, you're trying. You want to ask your teacher, what exactly should you focus on when studying to prepare for the final? Don't, don't ask him what's gonna be on the final because that puts them in a spot where they're just like, uh, well, I can tell you what topics to study, but they can't really tell you what's on the final, right? They're not supposed to do that. So you wanna ask, 
what you should focus on when studying for the final exam. That, that's how you want to word it, okay? They're going to tell you, well, hopefully they don't, they, don't just, they don't just say everything in the material. No, you need to know calculus, you know? <laughs> that's not very helpful. I've, I've, I've seen teachers do that. But it's funny, but it's not helpful. So you want some guidance, okay? Usually they'll tell you, you know, go over the review for the exam that we went over. Make sure you can, you know, focus on these topics. Like you're saying here, focus on use substitution, focus on, you know, integration, antiderivatives. But you want some guidance, like should you focus on the material from the notes? Should you focus on the material from the homework? Are there any particular problems you should focus on? You know, what I've done in the past is I would give like a review to my class, like, hey, focus on these 50 questions or these 60 questions, you know, and that will help you prepare. So if you can get any kind of guidance like that, that's going to make a huge difference. And then what you want to do is after you know what to focus on, which could be everything, you want to make sure you can do all of, the, all of those things without looking at any resources. So what I mean by that is when you sit down to work on mathematics and you're solving a math problem, if you have to look at your notes to finish that problem, then you don't really know the material. You're going to have to do it again and again and again and again and again and again until you can do it without looking at your notes. Once you get to that point, that's how you know you're ready. The problem with this strategy is that it takes a lot of effort. And effort requires energy and time and mental strength and willpower and fortitude and a bunch of other things that takes, takes its toll on you, right? So sacrifices will need to be made. You're going to have to work extra hard. But, I mean, the good news is your, your test covers the best topics. <laughs> so, right? Why wouldn't you want to learn this stuff, my friend? I think, I think you're, going to, you're going to do great. You're going to do great. And once you can do that, you'll be okay. I don't think there's going to be an issue. I think that if you can do these things... I think you're going to get a good grade. Just make sure you can do everything without looking at your notes. Everything that's relevant for the test. I want to emphasize that you need to go see your teacher, though, okay? Because different teachers are different. I was reading another email from another subscriber earlier, which I, I probably should make a video on that. And they were talking about how they were in a class, and I, I won't say too much, and basically everything they studied for the test was not on the test. It was other stuff. So that's a terrible situation. At least in your class, you have some guidance, you know it's substitution. Try to get some more guidance so you know where to focus. If you need extra resources to learn this stuff, I've got tons of resources, even for free here on YouTube. I've got thousands of videos. I've got a huge playlist on integration. I have a giant playlist on use substitution. Just go to that playlist, it's got tons of problems. I mean, I've pretty much, if you can do those problems, you can probably do any integral they throw at you on a test because I've, I've done most of the varieties that you see, you know, in calculus. So yeah, you can go through those. I've got courses. You can check those out. My courses are on a reputable place uh, called Udemy. It's a good website. If you get them though, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. When you use my links, you'll get a low price because I lowered the prices and it helps me greatly. And I've got multiple Calculus 1 courses, Calc 2, Calc 3, differential equations, all that stuff. But more important than you buying my courses, more important than anything, is you passing this class. And again, finish your homework, go see your teacher, get some guidance, and then make sure you follow their guidance, and you can do everything, okay, everything without looking at your notes. If you do that, not only can you pass your class, not only can you get a 65, maybe you can get the highest grade in the class, right? Maybe you can get 100. I mean, maybe you can do that, right? Become a legend. Not that many people do that, right? Not that many people go from failing to, to success. I've seen it because I've taught for years. I've had thousands of students. So I see people go from failing to A. It does happen, but yeah, it takes some work. What do you think? Do you have any advice for this person? If you do, leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, when you leave those comments, it helps other people who are trying to learn math, right? People from all over the world watch these videos, and so when you leave comments, uh, it, it really helps them. Calculus 1, final exam. Yeah, I think you can do it, my friend. And I'll, I'll try to post this, you know, soon, because um, I know finals are coming up pretty soon. So yeah, as always, keep doing mathematics.